Hello, and welcome to my video on tampo removal. There you see, some cotton wool balls that I'll be using for tools, and some cellulose thinners there that I'm using as the main thing to remove it. I was watching a thing with fat guy, Paulie, trying to remove them, and I'll first off start by saying no removal techniques ideal because all will probably cause some damage if you look it. You'll get it off without any damage. But there's a few techniques. This one I use cellulose thinners on a cotton wool ball and just rub. Now later on you'll see in this video because it was very thickly printed and on corners as well it took some of the paint off the bonnet but for me build this is for me 66 Nova 3 mine blind mice build <coughs> and no techniques perfect for this because as I say, at the end of the day, it's paint on top of paint. And if you're lucky, you'll get a job you can work with. If not, you'll start to start from fresh. But there's a few techniques. I think some use a razors. And... Well, there's other sorts of fluid, I think. Some possibly use nail varnish remover. Uh, I use cellulose, a milder form of cellulose, which may be a little bit better, I'll have to try yet, is panel white that body shops use. <coughs> and here, as you can see, it's taking it off, and the bonnet, with it being really thick in the... Uh, corners and it's actually took some of the white paint off it's like pearl white and when I wanted it for laying paint on top of because it has the sparkles I'm gonna be using inks I think on it so but yeah it takes some off but like I say we all it'll probably do damage it's best to strip the vehicle first because if you don't it'll attack the plastic parts but having said that there's always exceptions to the rule as you'll see at the end of the video there we are it's just a case of having the so your last thinner in the car mobile and just rubbing and it takes it off it may take the paint off of some high points, but for this build it won't matter because I'm planning on scratching the trim so it shows up silver through the paint, but it should be a nice build. I've got a few things planned for it, but I'm just using it here for this demo video for tampo removal. As you can see, the bonnet's got damage, but the rest has come off nice. So, I may have another one where I've got a black, matte black bonnet. But hey, oh, whatever. And next is the casting that Fat Guy was trying to do after the Nova, which was the one from last month, the Ford Ranchero. I had my extra one that arrived much too late for the build. But there you can see the bonnet's damaged but the rest is okay. It's taken the sides off okay and what I have to remember, some of it may not actually, the bonnet wasn't, that was my damage but some of the paint damage were already probably there because it's a play one example. So along the trims and the raised areas on the sides, it was probably already there anyway. But, yeah. 
it does work, but like I say, every single casting you'll probably get some sort of problem. It's one of them things it was printed on with paint, so it's paint on top of paint and you take your chances. Sometimes you'll pull it off, sometimes you won't. But in the main you can get an half decent finish. And there we are, I'll last scoot round. It's usable for what I want. Now then, here comes the El Camino. Remember that this is actually the side poorly. Tried the same on and his when he got marks in it. But like I say, his method's probably no worse or better than mine, it's just that tampos were printed on to stop on. And it's testament to them that trying to get them off, every now and again you damage the paint underneath. Now this one, apart from the door shuts, actually went better. This time it was the recessed areas where I got damage. Right round the door shuts, but the actual bodywork was okay. Which, if you're really finicky about it, once you'd finished a build, you could actually run in some wash around the body line shuts to improve it. And uh, what am I doing here? Wiping up the junk off the butt. Oh, that's it. I was just polishing up the sides. Once I'd finished it. Which, there we go. It's not too bad. Not perfect, but I don't think anything is that's meant to have been stopping on there. And the reason why you strip them down is... As you can see, it's attacked the screen there. And for my own interest, this little one was the best of all. And I thought it'd turn out abysmal because it's the plastic body. I thought, oh, it'll attack the body. But it took the tampo and the paint off and took it back to the plastic body. So it shows they use a different paint, at least for the plastic bodied cars as you can see nearly finished here nearly took it all on but yeah as i say you can get them off but never expect it to be absolutely perfect underneath anyway thank you for watching and if you've enjoyed please subscribe and Bye.